Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, thank you for watching. Today and the next couple days I'm going to be camping and I have my Swiss Army Camper 2. This has got 13 tools, it's great for any camper, backpacker, hiker, prepper, you know Swiss Army knife. I mean come on, this is one of my first knives when I was a kid, when I was in Boy Scouts. That's one of my first uh, experience. You know, using a knife is with a Swiss Army knife. And I hope you stick around and check out my review of the Camper 2. Run down some stats. So closed, it is three and a half inches long, and a little under an inch uh, wide, and about half inch thick, and it weighs 2.5 ounces. Blade is about two and a half inches, and there's 13 tools, so that's the main blade. You got a corkscrew, an ah, lanyard hole, toothpick, tweezers. Bottle opener, screwdriver, can opener, another screwdriver, and a small blade, and a saw. Swiss Army Camper 2. Okay, first we're going to try out the saw on some guava. Yep, works great. Now, on some bamboo. Now bamboo is notorious for being difficult to cut, so this might take a little while. Be done. Not easy, but it can be done. Uh, it's not locking, remember? So you have to be careful. Now let's try blade. This isn't locking. So be careful. Yep. Stays razor sharp. Now a lot of people have complained that the steel on Swiss Army knives have changed. It's not as good of quality. Uh, I can't really tell. 
you know, out of the half dozen Swiss Army knives I've used or owned in my life, I can't really tell. Let's try the smaller blade. Yeah. Pretty cool. Works. Now, let's try the ah. I lost all that camping footage. I had two memory cards and one kind of funked out on me. I'm bummed. It was some awesome footage. And this was quite a while ago. And I'll provide a link to a video where I did of the road trip of that camping trip. Uh, where, you know, we drove there and I had some footage. It was uh, salvageable. Uh, it was an awesome trip. It's always fun, you know, camping and, and you know, road trips around Hawaii. It's just awesome. Now, the Camper 2 is an awesome choice. I believe it's a, it's a really good Swiss Army knife. It has all the tools that I need and use in the field and none of the tools that I really wouldn't use. I mean, even the corkscrew, I you know, possibly could use this, you know. And every tool in here I've used, even the tweezers and the toothpick. Not for my teeth, though. Uh, I keep this in my pocket, so it's kind of, kind of. Uh, I'll carve a stick and use that as a toothpick before, before I use this. Especially if you've had it for a while, and I've probably had this about at least six months. And I've EDC'd it quite often. Uh, I will provide a link to a video of the Leatherman Juice that will be replacing this on most days. You know, I will probably EDC this when I don't think I will need a pliers or something like that or just want something really light. So this won't, you know, disappear. I'm not gonna give it away or or you know sell it or anything. You know, it's only twenty dollars. And I'll provide a link to where you can buy one and help support the channel and that's awesome because I think everybody should have a Swiss Army knife. Right? Everyone should have at least one. And they should probably have, you know, five or six. And if you're into the outdoors, you should probably have quite a few and you probably have had quite a few throughout your life. Now some people say the steel and the quality has kind of gone downhill and I kind of have to agree with that. I just remember the older Swiss Army knives just seemed a little bit, you know, just tougher. I don't know. Uh, I don't see that much of a difference. Uh, I haven't owned a Swiss Army knife in about five years um, before I got this one about six months ago, you know, and I've owned at least a half dozen Swiss Army knives throughout my life, more like ten. Swiss Army knives, you know, throughout my life, lost them, gave them away, uh, you know, stuff like that. They just come and go. They're so inexpensive uh, and useful that you definitely can carry this for a month and get your money out of it uh, for most people, right? And especially if you're in the outdoors. I really like the saw. I don't necessarily need the knife, but the saw and the awe are uh, very useful and the screwdrivers are very useful and the can opener is very useful. So again, I will provide a link to where you can buy this and it helps the, the channel out, support the channel. And I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I definitely think this is jungle approved. And then everyone should have one, like I said. Now, thank you for the like, thank you for the comment, thank you for the subscription. Make sure you hit the bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video, you can watch it and tell me what you think. And until next time, hello.